first I would like to state that Michael is 12 seconds over uh, over the speech limit, and so this either counts as a serious violation or abuse of the tournament rules, or just disregard the 12 seconds of Michael's speech, Judge. And I will first go off case and then on case, Judge. And so let's get started into Michael's con contentions. Michael first states that lottery winners were unsuccessful and many went bankrupt. However, this is a very slippery slope argument because there were, say, only maybe a thousand to five thousand lottery winners in the history of the United States, and when comparing that to 41.7 million. African American people. That is a very unfair c comparison because of this, the sheer amount of uh, people being compared. My opponent provides lots of assumptions that the government would cut down funds on the military and social security. However, this would actually eliminate wasteful spending on other branches of the government, like the like the NSA, and the government would likely, most likely, not cut the military nor social security budgets. The government can get a loan from other countries to get that money, that ten trillion dollars, and then use it and then pay them back. World banks will are are included. My opponent simply disregards my first contention of morality, and all of his critiques are in my second contention. And my socioeconomic status contention was refuted when my when Michael said uh, it was non-unique. However, my source stated that uh, it, it deteriorated at a faster pace. And all, uh, of course, everyone's uh, social socioeconomic status is deteriorating. But this, but African Americans at a more higher and faster rate. Not only this, my but my opponent goes off into a whole different tangent when he states that Irish slaves were first, and I get and I sh and my plan states that we give no reparations to other races. I have three responses to this. My first being a permutation perm. We can reward both African Americans and the Irish. My opponent seeks to be made pay paying reparations to. Second, Irish people were enslaved for a grand total of eight years, and my opponents when my opponent stated while well, the African Americans were slaves two hundred fifty years. That's a huge difference. That's 21.25 times the amount of slavery African Americans were in compared to Irish people. And so this this is not a strong argument. And third, there's absolutely no relevance to the resolution. So I want to ask Michael to clarify that in his next speech. My, Michael brings up the point of theft of land uh, from Native American land, which, however, we already gave monetary and land reparations to Native Americans, and I also I see no point relevance from this to the resolution. And also, my opponent stated that he does not disagree with the concept of reparations. He just disagrees with my plan. And he gave his own plan for uh, if we had reparations, we um, should implement. Yeah, I'll go with his plan and my plan as another permutation. But that means he just proved it for my side, the affirmation side. And so I win this debate, not only on morality, but because he agreed with me. Thank you.